Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, today, this is the second video of the Getting Games Guide on the TI-84 Plus CE. Um, today we're going to be taking a look about on how to get a Game Boy emulator. So it's kind of like the operating system of a Game Boy and this will allow us to run any Game Boy game we want and there are hundreds of options. So you can see right here I have Pokemon Red loaded up so I think if I hit second it'll start things off so we can click like new game and this is this is the whole thing um, everything and I'll show you the whole process it's kind of long that's why I didn't include it in the old video but um, yeah this is um, it's really really simple um, it's just it would just would have been made a really really long video so here we are today um, so let's let's get started so um, really quickly, just as a prerequisite, make sure that you've checked out my other video on getting normal games because it'll cover some things, some very, very useful guides on like how to get a shell and how to actually jailbreak the calculator. So um, please make sure you watch that. Otherwise, none of the things that we'll be demonstrating in this video um, will work. So just want to get that cleared out. Um, so let's get started. So in similar fashion, again, to all the other videos we've made, I will have a Kind of, I'll have a file down below which will have all the necessary files that you need to actually send over to your calculator. So um, we have only really three files right here, um, three necessary files for the actual games. That's going to be in the links.txt file. Let, let me open that up real quick. So yeah, um, again, I left the video up here. I'll also leave it in the description um, for you need to find it. And so then we have um, this website, which will take us to all the ROMs. And this website is TI Boy CE. So um, everything's in here that you need. Um, there's nothing else that you would need that that's not already covered in the old video. Um, so let me just open these up and I'll walk through what each one of them do. So I have both of our links opened up. Let's start with TI Boy CE. So I think let's probably just let me just explain how this whole thing actually works. So TI Boy CE is actually a program. Um, so what this program does is it'll let you open Game Boy games. So it's this is really like the actual program itself. So um, and then we're just going to be downloading like app vars, um, which are kind of just like um, things that will help apps run, kind of like a library, which will actually run. So everything's running through TI Boy CE. So this is, those were the, th those were those three files. And so, yeah, so this is it right here. Um, we're gonna, I think for downloads, we'll click on this little download icon right here. And this will take us to the GitHub. So um, I'll make this simple. You can read all this if you want, but you want to scroll all the way down to this assets page right here. So kind of a bit down um, just the first assets page right under like the fixed for me and download this um, download the zip file on um, TI boy CE alpha and then whatever version you're on um, at the time of recording this video um, the most up-to-date version is from December 5 December 5th 2022 um, but, but yeah it works per perfectly fine I just tested it out on my calculator actually and everything's working um, so all you need to do is just download the zip file and you'll see three files that have the TI Connect CE icon on it, um, like the it'll be like TI Boy CE and then like um, like a TI Boy skin like a skin and like a skin. It's it'll have a TI Boy um, connect, TI Connect CE um, icon on it. So yeah, it's literally just like one scroll away. So um, you will these will be all the file types. These are just the file types, but these are actually all the names. So TI Boy, you'll see these three files: TI Boy CE .exp. And then you'll have um, these other three side ladders, actually four. Um, and then these all end in the .exp. So you'll send, you'll want to send these bad boys um, to your calculator in similar fashion like we did the games. And um, I'd send these, I'd send these all to archive. They do take up a lot of storage, so send them all to archive. Um, and then this one, you don't have to send it to archive. You can always change that later. So um, yeah, we, I, we, I already, I already previously downloaded mine, so I can just go to. I'm going to actually get back to the original page and just download it again and then I'll open those files and then we'll go from there. And then the next thing um, that you want to download is the actual Game Boy ROM itself. So this website is probably the best website out there for this type of stuff. It has hundreds, and I'm serious when I mean hundreds, um, of games that they have a ton of, they have a ton of games. Um, but for this video, I want to play Pokemon Red, um, just because this is my favorite by far. Um, I've play, I've soaked way too many hours on a calculator game, but um, well, eighth grade was boring. So 
All you need to do is just click the save game and it will just download in a zip folder and it should end in a um, .gb file. So if you open up that zip folder, I know you can, um, I don't know if you can, you can even see this, but when you do open it up, um, when you extract it, you should see a file that ends in .gb. Um, just hang on to that, um, and I'll see you on I'll see you on the calculator. Actually, I just want to open up TI Boy CE first. So I just um, before we do anything else with converting it, converting the ROM, and it'll all make sense later. I just want to show you guys um, TI Boy CE first. So we'll just open CSM, I guess, and it should be down at the bottom. So it'll be this TI Boy. Why is it not clicked? Okay, yeah, the TI Boy CE right here. Boom. Um, I have mine archived just because CSM will let you run things. And so let's go ahead and open it up. If you open it up, it'll say no ROMs found because, well, we haven't sent any ROMs through. Um, but we can use these um, arrow keys and just select um, back. Um, and in this, use the second key instead of enter. Um, think of this like if you've ever like had an actual Game Boy, Game Boy before, um, you'll have the arrow keys, which are the same on the calculator. And then second is the A key and alpha is the B key. So we're gonna, second's gonna be a button you're gonna press a lot. So you have a ton of options right here, and some of them aren't even enabled because we don't have a ROM in. So um, I'll just run you through. I can actually, I'm on, this is a computer emulation, so I can use my mouse to point things out. So no ROM currently loaded, um, obviously, and then this is the website. So let's um, so let's talk about saves. This, you can like load a save slot or save one. That's kind of like just saving a game. So if you have, if you know what it means, you kind of know what it means, but I will, I will show it to you. It'll make a lot of sense. So we have um, options for our graphics. Um, you can set these however you want. I've never really messed with these before, actually. So I've kind of left them at default. But if you if you feel like you want to mess with things, you sure you can. But and so control options, um, really really simple. I guess you can just modify whatever you want. So if I want like A instead of second to be like enter, it can be that. And I'll just leave mine on second. So so yeah, and then. Um, yeah, these are all your controls right here. Um, I'd keep a mental note of the ones on the top um, and um, clear, I guess. The ones at the top and clear, everything else you won't really use. But um, yeah, let's just head on back. And then emulation options. This is just um, kind of the settings of TI Boy CE, so you can um, change the color, I think, right? Wait, can you? I don't know, okay. I think that's, I think we need a ROM, probably some of that after. And um, yeah, you can also like, you can even change your time zone too on your calculator. And, um, but yeah, nothing really, nothing really like that important. I would usually leave these all on defaults. And then, um, yeah, and then we can just hit exit TI Boy CE to well, exit. So now let's send the ROM through. So if you didn't already notice, you'll see that all the file, the actual file inside is one file and it ends in a .gb file, not a .8xp or 8xp if you have um, file extensions turned on on Windows. So we need to basically turn this file that the emulator games websites use into a file that the calculator can actually read. And so perfect for us, TI Boy CE actually has a ROM converter built in. So if we click on this right here, um, it'll say create .xv files from your Game Boy ROM file. So we can just um, choose a file and um, mine's in downloads. So open that. And then um, it will give you like um, little pop-ups, um, the website. Um, you can just click through them, it's fine. Um, the second one is just to change like the name of it. If you don't like the name for whatever reason, this one really says Pokemon Red. So it's fine for me. I'll hit okay and they're done. So um, you'll see we have multiple files, not just one. So Pokemon like um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then like 8 over there. So um, if you're wondering, these are actually all, um, this is all the game right here. There's just so many files because the game is so large that it has to be spread across multiple multiple files. Um, so yeah, um, that puts um, if that puts that into perspective, these are all massive. I mean, for a calculator, they're massive. So um we can let's just go ahead and download them there's multiple ways but probably the best is just to download them in a zip file and um if you do i've already done it you can just um just click this it'll download it as a zip file and um yeah just open it up you'll have all of these one two three four five six seven eight yeah all these 10 files right here send them all through but double check that they're actually on archive um these will kill your storage 
not like kill, but like really take it up. So make sure they're on archive. You want all of these to be on archive for sure. So um, yeah, once you've got those, um, once you've got those all sent through, um, we'll see you on the calculator. So we're back in on the calculator. I've just sent all my files through. Um, and if you wanna double check, you can always click that second key and then the plus key. You can go to number two, manage memory or memory management. And then um, they, they should be in, is it YVARS or is there an app VARS option? Just, yeah, it should be under app VARS. So under the B key right here. And if you um, head all the way down, you should see, yeah, you should see all file. You should see all your files. It's going to be a lot more than, um, I think it should, it should be more than 10. I think they expand, but, um, yeah, if you can see that's like 65,000 bytes, that's a lot. If it, if it makes sense and they're all like breaking the top. So if it makes sense why there's multiple files, um, hopefully it does now you'll, so yeah, um, let's go, let's head out of this, um, and open up cesium. Nope. That's programs. And if we go now to TI, TI Boy CE, we can see we have Pokemon Red. So if we click second, it'll actually open it up. And just like that, you have your Game Boy game installed. So let's wait for all this intro to do. Um, yeah, just like that, that's your Game Boy game installed. Um, I would keep just like just one, two max games. Otherwise it'll really mess with your storage and you won't be able to, um, you won't be able to, like the games won't run it's just um don't be don't be greedy um you can always keep these on your computer if you um export like the if you export all the files out um on your computer and then you can so yeah um and just there i hit the start key so that's going to be the x key i'll click new game um and yeah so that's it so let's say i'm now I'll let this, I'll leave the rest of this to you. Um, but let's talk about um, actually like using TI Boy CE now. So if you hit the clear button, it'll open up all of the, it'll open up all the side man, side menus. So we'll see we have Pokemon Red um, loaded in and we can actually configure, um, leave, I'll leave this on per game again on the defaults. And here we can, um, I think, um, yeah. And then here, this is how you actually um, exit TI Boy CE. So I can just, hit second on that and that's really the only way to get out so make sure you know how to do that um hitting clear and then going down then we open this up we can hit second and it'll open back up and then we can hit clear and go all the way down so another thing that i want to show you is in about like the saves thing so if we if you look right here we can say like to save a state we can hit the store key and then to load a state we can hit like um the logarithm button um yeah i think yeah and then so yeah, um, we'll hit that store key. So like right here, um, if I go back, you can always hit um, return to game. So if I hit the store key, it should say save zero save. And then I can hit second, I can keep going. But let's say like I like it's like stuck or I'm stuck somewhere or like it's glitching out. Like let's say like it just supposedly started glitching out here. I can hit clear and then I can actually click load, save slot zero. And if I hit second on that, and click yes, it'll take me back to where we originally were. So that's really useful. I wouldn't use it to cheat um, set checkpoints in like Super Mario World, but um, yeah, I'd use this only if you like get stuck, but again, um, do with it what you will, yeah. And so yeah, that's really, that's really it. It's much more, it's really, really simple to do stuff like this once you've actually installed like Artifice and Cesium. Um, I'll go red, I guess. And yeah, so have fun and I'll, yeah, I'll have fun and I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks so much for watching.